All right, new open order accepted. We are recycled and resupplied. And now we can head over to the paleontologist and deliver or really get rid of this antimatter bomb. But the first thing that I'm going to do is go beyond the boundary here and construct a generator in the event that we encounter another snowstorm and I need this thermal pad once again. Wow, that generator charges the thermal pad quite rapidly. And, oh, I do believe just beyond that bridge there. Yes, look at that. There is, in fact, a zip line out there. So let's go up here and see what happens if we create an adjoining connection point. And then we'll zip over there and hopefully, maybe, beyond. Let's go ahead and build a zip line right here. Time to take a zip and see what happens. Zip line, engage. Wow, and look at that. 268 meters more. Wow, that was very fortunate. That is quite a bit of ground already covered. We're, I think we're almost there.
Wow, that was incredibly simple and quick for a delivery. And let's go ahead and activate this terminal. Some people enjoy asphyxiation. Not that I need to tell you. You did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. You can set up the chiral network while I work. Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but... The specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But, what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. It does, so don't. Order assigned. Well, we have an oxygen mask now, so I anticipate using that in the very immediate future. And it looks like we don't have far to go at all to recover these fossil samples. Oh! But interesting bit of dialogue there with Hartman, who suspects that the prior mass extinctions here on planet Earth may have been caused by previous death strandings. So, that's an interesting theory. And before we head down there, let's go ahead and climb up this rocky bit here and construct a zip line 
in the event that we need to get back here in a hurry. Well, that sign right there is pretty direct. Oh, look at that. Somebody's decided to leave a truck down here. Excuse me, sir. You can't park that here. And it looks like, oh, our one, two, three, four, five pieces of cargo are actually quite close. And it appears that they are down there. Yeah. Excavated ammonites. So, look at that gas. I think it's time to go ahead and equip our oxygen mask. Cool looking oxygen mask there. And, well, looks aside... It sounds like very useful and probably vital because look at all of those signs there indicating that it is in fact required because we need to go down there in that gas to recover our cargo. Oh, and look, somebody has left a ladder here. Let's go ahead and use that because they must have left it here for a reason, right? Let's actually go and use a climbing anchor, if we can, and maybe we can just repel down the side here. Oh, maybe not in sufficient space. Yeah, right there. Let's go ahead and drop that and repel down the side here. And we don't have to be too careful because we no longer have the antimatter bomb. And dealing with toxic gas. All right, this is the VOG. So, our consciousness gauge will be depleted if we stay here too long, and then we will no longer be able to move. So, we need to not linger down here too long if we can help it. Well, shit, that was easy. Let's go ahead and grab this rope and get back to the paleontologist. How do I... Do I need to go and use my footing to scale? No, that's not the correct button. I swear there's a button that I can press to just pull myself right up the rope, but for the life of me, I can't remember which it is. Wait, what if... Oh, look at that! I can just pull myself right up this rope here and then, of course, find some footing. And that was not too bad at all. Well, my cargo certainly isn't optimized. Look how silly that cargo load looks on my back. Let's go ahead and drop a few likes here on this very helpful ladder. Thank you for leaving that here for us to use. And yeah, nobody's getting that truck 
out of here. That truck is going to remain here indefinitely. And again, both getting here from the geologist and recovering that cargo is quite simple. So, I think these are just missions to slow us down because we're pretty late in the game, if I had to guess. But, let's go ahead and deliver this cargo and listen to what Hartman has to say. Sam? And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar. And I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable. And that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. News. Order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. <laughs> 